I'm Scott Rouse. I'm a body language expert and analyst. I train law enforcement in the military in interrogation and body language. I'm Mark Bowden. I'm an expert in human behavior and body language. I help people all over the world to stand out, win trust, and gain credibility, including some of the leaders of the G7. Hey, I'm Chase Hughes. I'm an expert in human behavior and interrogation. I also develop tactics and techniques for Uncle Sam. I'm Greg Hartley. I'm a former Army interrogator, interrogation instructor, and resistance to interrogation instructor. I've written a few books on body language and behavior. Well, today we're going to talk about uh, President Trump before he was the president. You raised the question of Jeffrey Epstein in your remarks about pre- in the Q&A. Well, I think he's got a problem. I mean, what do you I'm, think I'm the problem will be? I, I don't know, but that island was uh, really a cesspool. There's no question about it. Just ask Prince Andrew. He'll tell you about it. Uh, the island was an absolute cesspool. So, the Clintons uh, are friends and he's of been yours, there right? for many times. The Clintons are friends. Well, yours. I can't say friends, but I know. You're them. friendly. You know them. Are they you, play at my clubs you, a lot. I have clubs, uh, and everybody likes are, to play. Are you at my saying clubs. there's a political problem for her if she runs for president? Uh, it could be a political problem. Look, he could be a political problem. Right now, he's Teflon, and right now, maybe not. But he could end up being a political. I want to ask one question. Al, talk to us about comedy. All right, we're out of the gate. What I'm seeing with this one is when he takes that, when he mentions Epstein, he gets that big, deep breath because he's getting ready. I'm sure he's loaded for just, you know, loaded for bear on this one. So he, and I'll leave most of that stuff to you guys. But the thing that got me was when he, when he brought up Prince Andrew, do you see what he was doing? He's looking at that guy, Al, across the thing. And his eyebrows go up and they come in like, dude, we know what's happening there. Almost like they're, they're trading a shits and giggles joke there or something they both know that nobody else knows. That's when I said, holy smoke, something, something's up there. Because then he says, when he says Prince Andrew, and he looks, it just dead eyes that guy, and he does that little smile, and he goes into a complete Duchesne smile. It's small, but it's there. It's complete. Everything, everything you look for in that is there. Yeah, I, I think it's even bigger. I think when I see the little, it starts with amusement, but then it erupts to a full-blown Duchesne smile, and his face almost lights up. It goes to the center of his face. He's got eye contact. And I think he's actually saying more than those two people know that Prince Andrew knows some things that he shouldn't know. And I think if I'm Prince Andrew and I say, see this, I'm like, why not buy that video and destroy that? So one thing I noticed here that I thought was very noteworthy, that this is the only time that anyone who's been photographed with Epstein hasn't distanced or softened the severity of what was going on. He very openly calls it a cesspool. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, so utter delight. He's delighted that this whole subject comes up. I think that's what we see there, Scott, for sure, is that that big intake is like, I'm going to need a lot of oxygen for this because I got a lot of stuff in my brain that I need to get out around this. So, and, and I think it's worth noticing, you know, often people do talk about these in-breaths or sniffs that he, do, that he does. Again, that's normal for him. People put it down to anything from a deviated septum to drugs, depending on, you know, where their bias is. But ultimately, what we do know is that those long in, intakes or short ones are a, a classic for him. One extra thing, because I concur with everything that's said there, uh, you know, especially that Duchenne smile and his, that twinkle in his eye as that comes up, pure delight, is his ability.